I have also determined new dates for Mr. Zuma's appearance before the Commission. Since becoming aware of the letter from his attorneys, those dates are 16 to 20 November 2020. Those are the dates that I have determined. I know that in their letter, they, his attorneys said dates should be negotiated with him or with them. No dates will be negotiated with them or with, they, with him. This commission has made it clear to the attorneys who represented him before that this commission does not negotiate dates with witnesses. So we should uh, do it in the evening. Uh, how is how is Friday evening for you, Miss Health Mayor? Um, that should be fine. That Chair. should be fine. Okay. Should we, uh, Miss Quinona, is that fine with you? Can we do it on weekend, Chair? Sorry. Can we do, uh, do it on weekend, Chair? Uh, on weekend. You you're not available on Friday evening. No, Chair. Uh, but you would be available on Saturday if, or if we were to sit on Saturday? Yes, sir. Mm. I, I would also be available. Would also Saturday. be available. Yes, Ms. Mayor, I don't know about my own situation, but no, I'm just checking. No, I don't actually either. I, I am going to have to uh, possibly just make an inquiry. Uh, it, 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 the weekend will be difficult for me. I can see if I can move certain what, what, things. What about Thursday evening this week, Ms. Mbanjwa? His attorneys said dates should be negotiated with him or with them. No dates would be negotiated with them or with, they, with him. This commission has made it clear to the attorneys who represented him before that this commission does not negotiate dates with witnesses. In terms of there is nothing in either the Public Protector Act or Ethics Act that prohibits the public protector from instructing another organ of state to conduct a further investigation. The Public Protector Act expressly empowers the public protector to obtain assistance in her investigations. <clears throat> the Public Protector Act and the NPA Act are clear that she has no power to direct the NDPP to, in to investigate any criminal offense and how to go about doing this.